This video is taking an existing Dagster project, this wonderful Dagster crash course by Pete Hunt, and we're adding a CI job with GitHub Actions. So basically the idea being, hey, Dagster makes it really easy to build out my data pipeline, and then it also facilitates writing tests around that so that when I check it, when I write some code, I can test to make sure it's working. With something like GitHub Actions or any CI CD tool, we can automate the process. So it's not just pinky swear, hey Gus, I, you know, I promise I ran all my tests. Instead, we'll say we hope you did, but every time you, you try to check code back into our central repository, we're going to verify that with an automated job, one that you see here. So really quickly, let's just walk through this. I've got my existing code base, and if, if I wanted to go ahead and make a change and kick things off, we can actually simulate this directly from the UI. Not a great practice, but let's just add in some text to our readme file. I'll commit those changes to a new branch, and I'll create my pull request. And now when I do this, you know, locally I should have tested everything if I'm following my standard workflow, but we can ensure that some a series of tests are automatically run thanks to the CI tool, some, a build system, something that's grabbing all of our code, and let's see the steps specifically. It's grabbing all of our code, it's downloading everything, it's installing all of our dependencies, and then it's running some, in my case, smoke tests and unit tests, or, or what I'm calling smoke tests and unit tests. And what's, what's really nice about this, especially in the context of this Dagster Crash Course tutorial, is I didn't have to do a lot of work to set this up. I can take advantage of the fact that Dagster is architected such that it's relatively simple to add a bunch of, of interesting smoke tests or interesting tests. And you have a testing directory, so just running Pi test on the existing tests tests in the in the tutorial. And then in my case, I also just said, hey, because this job doesn't take very long, let's go ahead and run everything. But if this were a larger job, like an ML training job, we may not do this la this last step of running the entire pipeline on every code change, because it could take hours and hours or days and days. Uh, but in my case, we're just going to go ahead and run everything. And just as this job, when it finishes, if it comes back green, great, my colleagues know they can accept my PR. And if not, then we know we need to go back, make some changes, and then run everything again before merging the code. So I, I, I'll, I'll stop here. Just it's you know as we think about software engineering practices for ML, Dagster comes up a lot as a tool. Teams are using for orchestration, build systems like Jenkins, GitHub Actions, and other things are relative are seemingly to me very easy to add in. Hope you found this helpful.